So recently, Undertale Yellow released. It released on December 9th of last year, to be exact. So, I've been playing this. Uh, I kind of actually hesitated for a bit because I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, it just looks like the same thing. I don't know if it's actually going to be good or not. Then I played it. Holy crap! Was I wrong? I was wrong. I thought this was honestly just going to be a pretty just meh level uh, fan game. But wow. It, it was great. The sheer emotion. Just the sheer... Just how it's charming. Just... Just the overall vibe of the game. It is amazing. It it recaptures uh, like Toby Fox's original style. You know, this is an Undertale fan game. Uh, perfectly. Now this game actually was in development since 2016, and I'd say by golly, it's paid off. Why? Well, because we got Flowey with hat, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Flowey with a hat, and now we have Tilted Flowey and. You want to know what else? We got furries! Yeah! Now this is what I'm talking about! Alright, fellas. I'm gonna go down the Undertale Yellow cast. Uh, the main cast, at least. So, first we got Flowey, who's a stupid freaking plant. Next up, we got Martlet. Bird! Mo. I can't believe it's not spammed! Shujin Kesukane, basically, I'm a scientist, and I love Ben 10. Then we got, uh, of course, Suroba Kesukane, which is, um, FOX MOMMY! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that was too perfect! I'm so sorry. Starlo. Row and Tootin! Cowboy shooting, baby! And then obviously we got the main character, Clover. I missed one. Uh, I forgot about um, Suroba's daughter, Kanako Kitsukane. So, you know. Hey, mom, you know what would be funny? If I die! It's like the jokes literally write themselves! So, Undertale Yellow is a fan made prequel to the original Undertale. It features Clover. The seventh human to fall down into the monster field underground. Based off what route you choose, you can either suffer in the genocide route, cry hysterically in the pacifist route, or crap your pants in the neutral route. Dear God. Oh, yes, the story. So, the story. Dear God, this game makes me sad. Like the original Undertale, Undertale Yellow aims straight for your feelings. Get ready for a lot of OH MY GOD WHY ah! Or maybe a bit of STUPID BIRD STUPID BIRD STUPID STUPID b Or even AXIS MORE LIKE ACK <coughs> Cause I'm joke I'm choking on this joke <laughs> Anyways Clover ventures through the underground and meets some cool and not so cool people along the way He Yes I know the gender is interpretive but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that anyways so uh, uh, ignore it. He ends up getting wrapped up in Suroba's wacko baggage. Do you like trauma dumping? No? Well, too bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard me right. Our crazy Kitsune here will tell us all about what's going on. His husband. His husband! Her husband was a scientist who experimented on himself and died basically because he was working on his serum to turn people into boss monsters, you know, strong enough to cross the barrier or something. I don't know, man. He, he makes me bad. Soon after, he's like, Hey, Saroba, don't bring our daughter into this as his dying wish. Kanako wants to save Monster Kind and stuff. Uh, that is the daughter. Because, you know, children, you know, they don't know how consequences work, and, uh, one thing leads to another, and... Saroba does a bad parent move, ladies and gentlemen. This is what not to do. If you have a serum, it'll pretty much turn you into a... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Why didn't... Wait. Why didn't you lock it up? Oh my god! Ever heard of child loss? Also, uh, Shushin. Why were you so secretive when it came to your projects? You idiot! That's not how commu- that's not how good communication works! Especially when you could drag your daughter into this and- Oh, look, that happened! Hmm, 
I wonder why. You stupid fart. You stupid. You stu Oh my god. You, you make me, you, you're like Bill Nye, but ten times worse. And I actually like Bill Nye. How dare you. God dang it. Who, uh, I don't think you're off the hook too, Saraba. I know that you shouldn't have done that, but you went through with your father's... I keep on saying fathers. I can't talk because I'm so angry. No, no, no. You should have not gone through it. But no, you're like, Ooh, the father, please. Yeah, I get it. He's dead. Oh, yeah, he was going to do this. He was going to do that. But ever thought of, uh, oh, this plan could backfire? Also, um, stop. You're also trying to kill a kid for their soul. Oh, my God. I'm leaving. Goodbye. 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 I mean, I still have to finish up this video, so you know what? Screw it. I'm coming back. We're Cyril back, baby. But I'm still salty. Now, enough about me being salty. Why was I salty? Well, I don't know. This this game really makes you feel bad for everyone. This, this game really hits you in the feels. And... That's what the original Undertale did, so I applaud the developers for doing that. It takes a special group of people um, to have the same magic as the original Undertale. Just, in general, recapture that sort of emotional, sentimental feeling. It's so hard to explain, but, um, <laughs> thing is, I already really, really got emotional over Undertale, and Yellow wasn't any better, so, yeah. Real talk though, real talk, this game is awesome. I love the sprite work, the sprite work and art is just gorgeous, it's just beautiful. The music has been stuck in my head for like almost an entire month now. Ah oh, god, what else? The story, the story actually, despite my complaints, those are more of just nitpicks and I didn't go over the entire thing because comedy. It's actually pretty solid and God, is it sad, depending on the route you choose, of course, because, you know, I did the pacifist route, and unbeknownst to me, even though I knew what was going to happen, I still cried. It's such a bittersweet, you know, it's such a bittersweet ending, uh, the pacifist ending, because you know, this, remember, this is a prequel, so it was kind of doomed for it, but anyways, that's beside the point. This game is just, wow. It, I would definitely say it's worth a try for any Undertale player. Um, it is meant for more veteran players, people who played it beforehand. But regardless, wow. What a wild ride it is. What a wild ride, you know? I've been obsessed with just the characters, the story, the gameplay. I've, I've just been obsessed with it for like uh, almost the entire year so far. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I love the cowboy aesthetic, cause there's a cowboy and it's a western, yeah! Overall, Undertale Yellow is a charming, beautiful, just well-made fan game, and you can clearly tell the developers uh, put a lot of time and effort into it. And God, it hasn't paid off. It is bit... What? What is that? No, Flowey, God... Flowey, no, you, you're not supposed... You're not supposed to be... You're not supposed to be here. What did I tell you about existing?